Happy Monier and greetings from Tampa. It's day 11 of Walk with Winston. And I am back. It is um, <laughs> feeling a little sluggish this morning, a little heavy. Um, just trying to get myself going. But, uh, and that's, I think that's partially because that I, I've just wrapped up three road trips in the last 10 calendar days that started with uh, day one of Walk with Winston a couple weeks ago. And uh, so this morning, I normally when I start my walks, I, I have some cool, inspiring podcasts in my earbuds and, and uh, want to kind of get myself into a right in a good frame of mind with my walks. This morning, I decided that I would start the walks without in, in, just in silence, just to take in the, the sounds of nature and the sounds of my surroundings. And it was it was tough getting out of bed this morning. I think it, you know, it, was, it was I was tired. I felt tired and I felt a little overwhelmed with the last couple of weeks. Just uh, so many great emotions, so many great experiences to process. But you know, Tony Robbins talks about if you want to change your state, you have to do something physical. And I noticed within the first block of starting the walk this morning, I felt lighter and lighter. I felt some of the uh, emotions inside of me begin, begin to dissipate. And it was, uh, it was amazing just to pay attention to my body for the first mile or so of this walk this morning. And just feeling how much better and energized I was getting as the walk progressed. So um, change your state, change your mind. I guess that's the motto of that story. Well, up until now, we've been talking a lot about change and the challenges with change. You know, change can be overwhelming. Uh, it can be um, it can be exciting. It can be overwhelming. It can be challenging. All of those emotions start here, right? They uh, they don't necessarily change the external state, but in our internal battle with change begins with mindset and we've talked a lot about those challenges about how fear can immobilize us how um, our mindset can d d uh, park keep us in park um, how we can derail our our change efforts before we even get started and so as I've been thinking about change and in getting your feedback about change, I've really come down to the decision that change is fundamentally a mindset. So our Fitness Focus Mastermind last night, we, inter we introduced a new member. And, uh, you know, he's coming in five to seven weeks behind some of us who have been in the Mastermind for a little while. And I could see so much of myself in him. Uh, we have a lot of things in common, and because of the work of the mastermind, I'm a few weeks ahead of him in terms of my change journey. And it always comes down to a question, do you believe you can get fit? And I'll never forget, as long as I live, that initial meeting with the team, and they said, well, even if you don't believe believe that we believe. I think that's a lot about how change works for us too. Even if we don't believe, we have to believe that others believe. That there's a power greater and sits outside of ourselves that, that uh, can help us propel ourselves to the, the dreams of our life. But it starts with faith and belief. So, I've been thinking a lot about change and mindset. And as I mentioned on the video yesterday, I've been coming up with an acronym that would help me go through the changes that I am uh, working through. And it, it's helping me language change in a whole new way. So this week, 
we're going to talk about the first half of that acronym, which is W-I-N, and the second acronym is G-I-F-T. So, what's the opposite of hard? What's the opposite of struggle? What's the opposite of, of, uh, of something that seems daunting and, and difficult? I think it's a game. Thinking of change as a game, for me, is really helping me get through these early stages of change. And so when the W-I-N is the first part of that gamification of change and how I'm beginning to implement the changes in my life is to is to make it first winnable second inspiring and third novel winning inspiring and novel to think about the change in those three dimensions so to give you a practical example, on this health journey, my sister and I have been uh, upping our steps. <clears throat> you know, we both are on Fitbit. We have our little challenges, daily challenges with each other. And the beginning of the summer of transformation, my sister was 270,000 steps behind me. And at the beginning of the year, she said, my goal for this year is to do 10 is to average 10,000 steps a day. That's, you know, close to 3.7 million steps over the course of a year. And I look back last night, my all-time record for steps in a year was 3.114 million. And that was the year that I was doing the 60-mile walk for breast cancer. I was going through a lot of personal challenges and so walking was my therapy and so that was that's my all-time personal best and so when my sister said she wanted to do 10,000 steps a day I thought oh gosh there's no way that I'm gonna do that you know I I never even looked at my all-time record but I knew in 2017 the most steps I the steps I'd done in 2017 being here in Florida with a lot of walking for exercise was 2.5 million steps with a lot of business travel. And I thought, oh my goodness, how in the world am I going to get over a million steps more than last year? Well, we have made that goal winnable. And so what we've done is we've broken it into smaller little sprints and we have turned it into a game. And so, shout out to my sister, Cheryl, who who, uh, began the summer 270,000 steps behind me, has caught and nearly surpassed me. And yesterday we both walked hand in hand over uh, the two million step mark for the year. Now we're about 217 plus days into the year. So we're a little bit behind schedule in terms of that ultimate goal of 10,000 steps a day. But we're way closer than we were at the beginning of the summer. And I look back at the, uh, the average steps during this challenge that we've been doing for the summer before the challenge began in the middle of June I was averaging 8,500 steps a day and through the first uh, seven weeks of the challenge today is day 49 uh, we're averaging I'm averaging 12,500 steps and my sister's well above that because she's closed the gap on me so you're making the challenge winnable now and i'll dive deeper into that tomorrow is a big part of implementing change making the change inspiring something that draws you out something that excites you something that motivates you 
something that lifts you higher and higher. That's the second facet of the wind model. And the third is novel, keeping it interesting, mixing it up. Um, so we'll dive into all three of those in a bit more detail here this week. Uh, this week I'm going to focus on the first three steps of the change process. And next week we'll talk about gift. And we'll dive into those four dimensions as well. Well, I am feeling so much better that I'm out here for a walk. I'm so glad I did this because now it would make my manier even more, even more uh, productive and inspiring. With that, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.